Synthetic drugs like bath salts and spice can cause users to lose all control and attack anything or anyone around them. But dealing with someone high on synthetics can be very different from cocaine or other street drugs. Unfortunately, everything's there. So let's talk about what kind of profit they're making. Today in Canastota, Homeland Security provided strategies to local police agencies. We're trained to kind of just hog time, contain them so they don't hurt anybody else. But if it's the wrong process, then actually what happens is they're not able to breathe correctly. They're not able to get the right blood flow. Renal failure occurs. So it's about giving them the idea and the tools to properly identify what's going on so they can prevent somebody from dying in custody. The Oneida Indian Nation hosted today's workshop. Attendees included representatives from the New York State Police and Fort Drum Military Police. Recently, synthetic drugs have been a serious problem in New York State, especially in Onondaga and Oneida counties. So we think it's very important that all of the police departments in the area uh, work together and we're all on the same sheet of music. The DEA recently added three chemicals commonly found in synthetic drugs to its list of type 1 controlled substances. But for police, staying ahead of synthetic drug manufacturers can be a challenge. That's because drug makers can shift the chemical mix just a little bit as a way to stay inside the law. And so they may not be able to buy spice in the store, but trust me, there's other compounds out there that work the same way that we don't have controlled yet.